tonight I try to get run over by a train. Raul talks about his favorite food. Shit! And Mario takes some steroids. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Top Chain, a brand new series hosted by RBC. I'm your host, Johnny, and these two are my companions, Mario and Raul. This show is mostly centered on bicycles. You might think yourself, cyclists. Man, those, those guys break the law. But not everyone is like that. We aren't, for example. But don't worry, those that do break the law... Usually get what they deserve. Um, apart from that, maybe should we should present ourselves. Mm, it it would take a lot of time to describe each other in words. We'll just put some photos up on the screen so we can see our qualities. We are all going to present a category. Role will start. Now it's time for Pimp My Bicycle, the part of the show where we discuss the innovations in the cycling world. Today's subject is the smartphone hub. Because our budget is limited, but although a little bit higher than Uganda's GDP, we can only show you pictures of the gadget. Uh, if you have an electric bicycle, I feel like buying the smartphone hub will make riding a way more interesting experience. It offers a lot of interesting features like navigation, so you know that you accidentally didn't cross into Scotland. <laughs> like weather so you know when you should go back to your bunker fitness data so you can see how close you are to having another heart attack entertainment you can listen to your favorite music or listen to BTS if you're mentally damaged and purposely crash into the next car or pole you see you can also charge your cars you can also charge your bike's battery it has a CO2 tracker so uh, you now know for certain how much CO2 emissions and money you save. It also has a friendly display and you can also use the included voice assistant. The smartphone hub is a good addition to anyone that has an e-bike and it also won the Eurobike award for innovation. Hello again. This part of the show is called Only in Romania where I talk about a few stories that have happened recently in my country. The first one is about a kid who has walked his dog in a rather creative way. Here's the video. It's so nice, it's like Uber, but for dogs. Or Uber Eats, but for Southeast Asian people. Anyway, moving on. In the second story, $2 million worth of petrol have been stolen from a US military base in Romania. Uh, I have decided to cover up this story because the answer really makes the Minister of Defense quite a legend. It was a supply point somewhere outside the US military base. It was a negligence to say because maybe our culture was not well known. For those that don't know our culture, David will, will, will put a video up on the screen. Anyway, now it's time for Mario's part. This category is called Why the Internet Shouldn't Be Free. In short, I will show you a video. Don't you think we should show them something interesting? Yeah, we could show them our testing track. Let's go! Here at Top Chain, 
we have a very special relationship with our fishing track. As you can see, it has all the finest turns in our country. The next part is the forest, and well, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it has been here since the dawn of man. Okay, maybe everything apart from this. As you can see here on the road are signs that birds have taken over this place. It's it's quite a tragedy when you think about it because when somebody walks through here, they might wake up uh, dirty. Look, it's funny when it doesn't happen to you, but when it does happen to you, uh, it's not that funny. We need to have a moment of silence for those that were um, at the wrong place and at the wrong time. So here is the end of the course. Actually, it had to be a spring, but it's like a jungle there. If you, would, if you bring your grandfather there and give him a gun, he would, have shoot, he would shoot the trees and then say, in Vietnam, when you shoot the trees, you don't miss. Now, you may ask yourselves why you have to use this bike and not one of ours. Well, in short, each bike has its own flaws. Mine has brakes worse than a train from a third world country. Rolls bike has had his pedal chewed by his own dog and quite frankly you have no idea where that went and Mario's bike, mm, let's just say it's Mario's bike. We also tried to take a, a few shots from above with our drone but well... Yeah, you know how it is. In order to find out who is going to go first on the testing track we have played a game in which the one that gets the tallest blade of grass goes first. Of course, I had to explain to the boys why socialism didn't work out. Anyway, the second time it, it was decided. Mari went first, I went the second, and Roll went the last. No. Yeah. I like your country. I Deci mă simt că iau drifturi. Uh, notează undeva. Făi fă screenshot, fă screenshot. Alright, so apparently Mario won the race having only 39 seconds. Now that's quite the milestone, Mario, and I think I, we should congratulate you. Well, here, I bought, I bought you a bottle of wine, and I think that we are going to celebrate in a rather strange manner. Now, let's fire up. Fire it up a little, shall we? Alright, so now that I have a restraining order from Mario, I will present you the positions. So, Mario got the first with 39 seconds and 0.75, Roll got the second with 50, sec 50 seconds and 0.73, and I got the last 57.29. Now, I took my time. There's, I know it sounds bad, but actually Mario and Raul didn't know a thing about my bicycle. It doesn't have any brakes. All right, I, I know, I got the third place. Now that's embarrassing. You might say that I'm not a good cyclist. I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Well, I've got something to tell you. I actually know how to ride something else apart from a bicycle. Now I'll present you Psychology 101. But firstly, in order to make some money and not go back to the streets and work together with your mother, I'll have to show you a few advertisements. See you in a minute.
How it feels to choose X gum. Stimulate your penis, you impotent f A nice educational program called Psychology 101. We ask ourselves, does sickness matter? Now, as you might have thought, we will describe each and every one of the types of tires for uh, bicycles. So, tires measuring anywhere between 23 mm uh, and 32 mm wide are road tires. These are especially great for riding in the city where, of course, there's a lot of pavement. You need to have them pumped close to the maximum level but they have some good advent advantages too so firstly uh, you will experience better handling and also uh, the effort uh, made to keep yourself moving will be lower than uh, let's say riding um, with an off-road tire but speaking of off-road tires also known as mountain bike tires tires measuring anywhere between 25 millimeters and 75 millimeters um, are off-road tires. Th these are really good for uh, sandy and grassy areas and also dirt. Um, you can also ride them on pavement but you will hear uh, the buzz from quite a distance. It's like your great-great-grandfather hears this sound again. Tires measuring anywhere between 100 mm and 127 mm wide are fat tires. Those things are quite big. No, not like this. Not like this. I've got nothing really to say about these apart from the fact that they are good for mud and snow and the buzz is louder on pavement. There's, there's something that I can say about this. You can always feel confident because while riding this, it's not the truck that runs you over. No. You are the one who runs over the truck. We also have to mention hybrid tires. These are especially great for roads that have holes in them, like this one. Or... This is really getting out of hand. We also have to mention uh, flat resistant tires that have a layer of Kevlar that protects them from deflating. So trying to deflate them might be very hard. Now as always there's something more to it than just thickness or length and in this case are the tire threads. Now look, as you can see these ones are made for uh, gripping the, the surface while these ones are made for not gripping the surface. Um, now we will get into a little physics but basically this one is good because the dirt isn't something so it isn't really a surface that is very strong so it can grip it and enter it and the pavement is so strong that it can't so it will be all about friction it only makes sense that you will get tired more if you ride an off-road tire on the pavement now i'm going to explain by showing you a few pictures that are very professional pictures actually that aren't made in paint so uh, uh, you can see that the dirt uh, isn't that strong, so the threads enter the dirt. And also, here's the uh, the pavement, and because it is so strong, the, the threads can't enter it. And I'm going to state my opinion, because I know that nobody has asked for it. I would prefer an off-road tire, because 
you can ride the bicycle on off-road surface and on the on road surface while riding while having a road tire will make riding on road surface much easier but when it comes to off-road surface it will become useless believe me unless you want a moving vibrator i wouldn't recommend going around with a road tire on an off-road surface and now that i have presented you psychology 101 I don't think that there is a better time to present you our mascot. Ladies and misogynists, please warmly welcome with us the Skig. What are you do doing? Come on. Yes, now, come on. What do you mean you're not paid enough? Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Annoy me one more time. I swear to God, I'm gonna s send you back to those sewers. And you know that those turtles that live there are getting cornier by the minute. Look, just don't do this again. Next time, we are going to put him on our testing track. But now you really have to act like a mascot. You know, for starters, you could just uh, dance in front of the camera. Here, in your CV, it shows that you were old as... You know what? I don't think I'm going to do it. should I put in your place? It says here, it's a race for three people. Look, it says, it says over here, it should be for three people, right? So, oh, I could call the dragon in. Yeah, I'm gonna call the dragon. Shall I be sexy calamar, boy? Handsome Squidward. Sexy calamar. So this is the dragon. You may all, all wonder why he is called like that. Well, I have put a picture up on the screen, but for now, I think I should show you how the race starts. Here. The race is around our town. We start from different positions, but we have the same distance. Trust me, I measure. The destination is a historical landmark that will be presented in depth in another video on this channel. Mario will start at the western part of the city, having to go south to the train station. There he will continue following the train tracks opposite of a citadel. Now trains still use those railways, so what I'm making Mario do is dangerous. Anyway, after this I'm going to give him a pizza. And while well, considering that I know people who'd suck for a pizza, I'm doing him quite a favor. Unless, you know, he actually likes... Um, you know what? Never mind. The dragon starts from the center part of this town and goes straight to the south. In his way, he will have to pass through areas that are for pedestrians only. But I'm sure he'll manage just fine. Now, as you may have realized, there is a chance that he will meet Mario. And also, by that, he'll also have to pass the train tracks. Again, after this, I'm going to give him two pizzas. Once because he risks his life, just like Mario. And once because he sucks my d I will start at the eastern side of the city. It is the least populated part and possibly more dangerous. I'll have to pass this bridge. 
And don't get me wrong, the structure of the bridge makes it impossible to pass with the bicycle. Dar continue. Dar continue. So, at the other end, there will be a conveniently placed bike waiting for me. As I said, it is dangerous because if I'm not careful, I will fall in the water, thus having to continue the race even though I'd be wet. And while showing yourself wet to the camera is not honorable, it is certainly profitable. And well, for me it wouldn't be the first time to do it, so after that there is an area with dogs that want to have a little chat with you. I've been here twice before. The first time dogs ran after me, and the second time someone showed Mario the finger. Boy, it's here, it's here, but it's not here, it's not here. I'm not here. And well, that's all. Now, it's time for you to witness the most underwhelming bicycle race in history. And we will also find out who rides the best and the longest. No, no, hold on, I went on the bicycle, on the bicycle! <laughs> Ok, mă omule, sunt timpul cursei, ce e? Viteză, 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 viteză Acum tu poți să-i primesc un vin de acolo, de la, de la palat Oh, grijă <laughs> Nu te o rând, doar te prinzi în cadru, omule, tu înțelegi? Hai, hai, nu mă mai suna, te rog, chiar am pus toate, ba! <laughs> Nu <laughs> Stefan! Fuck! Am dat doi toată viteza pe câini, omule! Yet, it was not enough for me to win. Of course, there have been a lot more surprises during my race, like the fact that the bridge I was supposed to go on disappeared. Cum mă ții de post, băga mea s***a mă ta! I realized how happy I was that now I had to go on the bridge where trains would go by. Anyway, Mario won again, and this time we decided to have our honors at stake. So, after a long discussion on what me and the dragon had to do, it was decided that we had to wear some idiotic face masks in a restaurant. The process of choosing two of them was very long and complicated, but we managed. Nu știu cât de amuzant e, dar da, e foarte... Da, foarte ingenios, știu. And now our shameful loss must be celebrated by acting like the most normal Polish gay couple. Mergeți. Mai încet în pula mea. Yo, yo! 
perfect. Să oprim mânuțele frumoase. Da, e gata. Da, mergi! Da, nu te uita la camera! Stai, 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 dați-mă că trebuie să intrăm. Sadly, we weren't allowed to film the restaurant. But we at least managed to take a selfie. But, in the end, I may be the last one, the dragon may suck my d**k, and Mario may have one, but you know what, we all had fun. <laughs> Da, da. Pleacă, bă,